Welcome everybody to Taswell County. For this map, I took six square kilometers and I scaled it down to four, so it would all fit neatly on a 4x map. The main crops for this area in real life are corn, soybeans with occasional wheat field, and if you are not playing with seasons, that is what you'll see growing in the unowned fields nearby from neighboring farmers. However, if you are using seasons, I have configured accurate weather data and patterns based on Peoria, Illinois, which is the closest city with the needed historical data. With seasons, the only crops you can grow are corn, soybeans, wheat, grass, and oilseed radish. Of course, the beauty of seasons is that you can use a geomod to grow their crops or change the temperature around. Be advised that Tremont Co-op only accepts corn, wheat, and soybeans, just as they do in real life. Keep that in mind whether you are playing with or without seasons. I tried to make the map as realistic as possible. In real life, the fields are right next to each other. However, due to the limitations of the game engine, I could not replicate this. It did not feel realistic to put grass in between fields. That would have felt totally fake. Instead, I just put separation and a dirt layer. Once you own neighboring fields, you'll be able to expand the border a little and play just like they farm in real life. There's a neighboring farmer to the north who distributes Beck seed in bulk. Sunag is where you can buy your dry and liquid fertilizer in bulk. It sits in the southeast corner of the map nearby Tremont Co-op. Heading to the northeast is the vehicle store. Tremont Oil Company does exist in real life, although not at this location. Peoria Union Stockyards lies nearby. It is a fictional location, however, it was named after a real business in Peoria. Heading towards the middle of the map, you can buy bulk pig feed at the local farm and fleet. A little bit more to the south is Prairie Farms, where you can sell your milk. Both are real businesses, however, their locations are fictional in this map. I had to, I had to put them somewhere. Of course, if you forget any of this information, just refer to your huge map at your starting point. So why am I even making this video? Your farm starts off with several fields, 50 cows, a forage mixing station, two silos, each with some silage, plenty of straw and hay. 25 pigs, a pig food mixer, storage for that pig food, and a good mix of equipment. I spent a lot of time getting the traffic right on this map. The cars move at 55 miles an hour. However, they will stop in time unless you pull out right in front of them. So just drive carefully. Cars will also stop at stop signs. So you don't have to worry about them blasting through an intersection and hitting you at a really high speed unrealistically. One final note, the map boundary is highlighted in lime green. I wanted to make the edge of the map as realistic as possible, so you will run into an invisible wall instead of some fake barrier that isn't there in real life. Just pay attention to the mini-map and you'll be fine. This is my first map available for public release. I learned a lot making this map, and I feel that I'll be learning to make maps for the rest of my life. Thank you to everybody who has helped me along in this process, especially those over at FSUK who have answered countless questions. I really hope you all enjoy farming in central Illinois.